Hello everybody, Prince and Bear here. I feel like there's something wrong with the Universal Ball. It moves so fast. Because it's Hollywood. <gasps> we're here. Yeah, we came to California. You thought we were going to Disneyland first? No. no. We came to Hollywood first. Big thank you to the Velvet Vampire for gifting us a stay at Universal Hollywood. Go check him out on Instagram. Now we're going to go in and have our usual amounts of fun. Be sure to subscribe you and heard, ride the movies. You heard the girl. James Arnold Taylors. Okay, how cool does that look? No? I am obsessed with the Super Mario World. I've watched all the YouTube videos of it in Japan. I can't wait to go back. Look at the, the pyramids and stuff. It looks so cool over there. Uh, we keep saying this right because the last time we come back to California. We're gonna keep while. coming back for this. We're but gonna come back next year for this. One of reasons for us to come back. Give us, give us like a hundred likes so that we can come back. We Bear, will, more than Bear will say yes when we get a hundred. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes to hundred. Yes, you will. I might. Hundred and fifty. Get a hundred and fifty. Okay, that's fair. Yes. I hate the orange. No dirty fin, no dirty mold. Jameson on ice. I thought Universal Orlando's rules were strict. Yeah, we have to come back 30 minutes for another drink. And on ice, I just wanted to chill. Either way. Whatever. Cheers. Cheers. Burn so good. It's an adventure, princess. It's an adventure to hugs me. I love your shirt, mate. Welcome to hugs me. Thank you. <laughs> I have some of the meat. What? The meat? The meat? You got it. And I got it. We're here at the Leaky Cauldron, and I knew exactly where to go because it's literally the same exact floor plan as Orlando. There's more beer choices at this Leaky Cauldron than the one that we have in Orlando, and this outdoor seating area is not obstructed with Velocicoaster. You have beautiful trees and shrubbery and Hogwarts Castle much more immersion than Orlando. It's just getting destroyed and they don't care about immersion there. It's not Disney. Anyway, I got a Stella because I have the ability to get a Stella here instead of three Harry Potter beers. Tastes like a Stella. Refreshing on a hot day. Four to five Stellas. Never gonna say no to a Stella. I like options. So Stella in Hogs me more to me. Nice and tall. It's a perfect midday beer fresh hit. Three and a half out of five bucks. I got swimming in this if it's big enough. I would. So I got some honey mead because it's not something I often get when we go to any part of Harry Potter world. Uh, now, the princess is going to be in drink chain. But I'm pretty sure this is stronger than her Stella is, so... It smells like honey and mead. 
I guess it's on brand? Yeah, yeah. and I think, I think that's what people, and I've heard that like a lot better. I think so much, I used to like, mm. like one of like her first big like, oh, like, sour meat to be. It's like a... Oh, sweet and sour chicken who was actually sweet and sour. But not like chicken. But still sweet and sour. Yeah, I mean, sweet and sour sauce. Sweet and sour something. Sour first. Almost like mouth puckering. And a hint of the honey at the end. It's definitely a sipping and not a gulping drink. I would give it a three and a half or five bucks. Depending on the day, I'd have to be in the mood for this. But it is very hard to buy. did not fly all the way to the desert is California not to go to Isla Nubar. Isla Nubar? Isla Nubar? Isla Nubar? We do have a video of just that place if you want to see it. I'll put a link to that in the description box down below. Yes. I think a rum runner is my new jam because I've been ordering it a lot lately and now I have a number two to my number one cup because the last time I came here I got the Mai Tai? And they didn't let us choose our cup. This time they let us choose our cup. Versus runs, runs, literally runs from a Mai Tai to the Rum Runner. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of shade to her Rum Runners really. I think I have to really shade in most of the things to run this order nowadays. I should probably stop. No. Probably not going to. A Rum Runner is still to me a lesser form of a Long Island. Let's see if Isla Nubar can prove me in different things. And I say Isla Nubar, Princess says Isla Nubar. What, what camp are you in? Isla or Isla? No? That may actually be slightly superior to a Long Island. I might usually offend a Long Island. They give long hangovers. This is actually quite tasty. She only ordered the tiki mug because that's the one thing I'll, I can't refuse her to take home. Four and a half out of five plus. Not wrong. Bear got this gross AF pineapple coconut drink and now he wants to make me drink it. And it's frozen? Look, it's got these little flakes on top of it too. What the freak are these flakes? Vanilla? I'm guessing on the vanilla. I don't even know what flavor this is. It's pain. called a painkiller? Flavor is pain. I'm expecting like a NOLA level drink here, if you're going to call it a painkiller. Okay. That tastes like something they would serve at Fat Tuesdays. All it's missing is like a 151 floater. I would give it like a 3 out of 5. It's... It's got promise. I feel like how, how the kind of pr drinks the princess chooses, maybe she should be the villain of whatever Jurassic World movie comes next. Hopefully we're at the end with Jurassic Park maybe coming out here soon. I thought right, now actually. Yes. But uh, she should be the new villain of the next movie. Whatever the next Jurassic movie is, be the Jurassic in space, Jurassic, Jurassic space, we're doing Jurassic Park, we're doing Jurassic World. How would it be the villain? Huh? Because you like Jurassic hangovers. How does that make me a villain? Because you're the villain. You're, you're my personal villain. I adore you, but you're my personal villain. The flavor is not, in fact, pain. It is orange, pineapple, coconut cream, and rum. Which blends really well. It's still a straight smoothie. Honestly, if you told me there was no alcohol in it, I'd probably believe you. So maybe it's having the correct effect. Five out of five plots. It's a better necessity. Burn a paradise? Yeah. 
you want a regular clip or do you want a souvenir? Thank you very much. Have a good day. This is what I got the last time we came here, the bird of paradise. A nice little rum floater on it too, it's a rummy day. Oh yeah, nice and tropical, I'm here for this, this is a four and a half out of five paradises. Now when you call this bird's paradise, I expect this thing to give me wings. Not in the Red Bull sense. At least it's got a pretty flower. And a plastic tiki cup. Ooh. I remember I got this last time. The punches and juices is immaculate. We call it a bird of paradise and that I feel that with enough of these, I wouldn't be surprised or even shocked if something swooped out of the sky scoop me up and drop me up the side of this hill. It's a four and a half out of five claws. Get to a bird and are of paradise. We had to get it. This is an IPA that's only available at Universal Hollywood, so we had to get it. Unlike IPAs. Get our next uh, oh no. I feel like I just ate pure hops and I hate it. I wish I could have spit that drink out. No hops. Zero out of zero. Zero out of five hops. Zero, zero, zero. I came all the way to Universal Hollywood and all I'm leaving with is this very plastic, very much a sticker on plastic, Jurassic Park 22 ounce IPA. On our journey to find an IPA that we're actually going to love, this feels like the meteor that killed Glenosaurus. Uh, it's also it's also actually tastes like the meteor that hit the dinosaurs. This tastes like primordial ooze in beer form. You people, and I mean you people. I'm specifically talking to the people in our community that love five IPAs. This is all your fault. It's not gross enough for me to spit it out, but it's still one out of five lots. One hundred and thirty-seven percent. Not my jam. Don't ask where the seven came from because I'm not explaining it. But you're gonna drink it, right? I'm not wasting alcohol. You're commit to your mistake? Mm. I will not enjoy this, but I'm gonna drink it. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> You know, I'd be willing to fight Sean Rizal, but this is the best experience in all of Universal. No. Well, he advocates for uh, Fast and Furious Supercharged. Would you say that this is better than Fast and Furious Supercharged? Uh, yeah, Waterworld is way better than the Fast and Furious, but it's not the best show in the world. It's just been around for a really long time. I'm glad that Bear finally gets to see it. I've seen it I've never so seen many it. times. He's not had once. it hyped up for years. I do like Waterworld. So I don't hate it like everybody else does. It's cool for him to see the Waterworld. Ladies and gentlemen, this show contains many water effects and there is a strong chance that you may get wet. There's a lot of water right here. It's all going to go right around here. You understand? All right, you're good. Everybody say, hi, Sam!
smoothly. Number two, to make sure that everybody stays safe. So like I said, first order of business, if you find yourself sitting in a green sea, you're gonna get wet. If for some reason you don't believe me that by sitting in a green sea that you're gonna get wet, have melted, and the continents are deep beneath the waves. The survivors live on these floating fortresses known as atolls in this place called Waterworld. Brave explorers voyage in search of the legend of dry land, the last remaining on the planet. But the deacon, maniacal leader of a group of evil raiders called Smokers, is determined to find dry land first. He's ensured that no explorer has ever returned until now. Matt, what have you got? It's a woman! Looks like it's Helen! Return signal! Open the gate! <laughs> Close the gate! Matt, keep a lookout. Helen! Come out, me! Woo! It is good to see you alive. Where have you been? Feast your eyes on this. This is pure dirt! Yeah. How'd you come by this? I've been to dry land. Dry land is a myth. No. No, it's not a myth. I've been there. It's our salvation! We can all start new lives on dry land. But we have to hurry! The Deacon and his smokers are after me. Smokers in the distance! Battle stations! Hell, get over the tower. Get over that water tank. Hell, get over the other water tank. Yes. Hey, get over the other. Go walk up the gate. Seaplane. It's a seaplane. Hell, where is it? Gun! Get out! 
Whoa, whoa, hey, no, no, it's okay. We may actually need these people. Here, bag this. <laughs> Brothers and sisters! Deacon! Did you hear all that? We are not your brothers and sisters. Am I right? Yeah! Somebody shut him up. Shut up, Deacon. Oh. Hey, hey. Now, now, where was I? <laughs> yes. yes. Desolate, Desolate children, children, you poor lost souls, souls, souls on this flowing pile of sheep metal. metal. The provider has spoken. spoken. And he, he told, told me personally, personally that, that someone here knows the way you fly Yes, my, my flock dry land. land. We are going to pay for driving taxi tax 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 tax. Sweet! Tell all of them to use the cruiser's village room with the 19 whole body of mine. They love it, so. You'll never find dry land, Deacon. I won't let you. And neither will the Mariner. The Mariner. Chuck, close the gate. Oh, you mean that half-man, half-fish boyfriend of yours? The one who, uh, poked out my eye? Look at what he did to you! Blow! <laughs> he can't see! Oh. Bring me the girl. Oh, hi, Helen. Can I help you smoke? Oh. Oh. So you want to play games, huh? All right. Let's play. Keep an eye on her. Well, what have you got up there, boys? We have an ator, and he's got dirt. Ah, dirt. See, Helen, I need to know the way to dry land. And so the game is called The First Person Who Talks Lives. Leave him alone. He doesn't know anything. Well, that makes you the winner, Helen. <laughs> Don't tell him anything. And that guy's a loser. Drop him. No. No! <laughs> Or you'll be next. Jet skier approaching at high speed. Excuse me. Shoot him. Where were we? He's gone. What do you mean gone? He's gone under. Under the water. It's the Mariner. It's the Mariner. Heads up. Hey, put that down. Uh, shoot. Take his head off, you take his head off. 
Shield. Well, I never liked Chuck. No! There we go. <laughs> yes. Winner! <laughs> Thank you. Well, golly gee, Helen, a single tear rolls down my cheek. Now, someone signal my C plane. How do you like that? Looks like all my men are dead. Yeah? Well, so's your boyfriend. See that ladder? Start climbing. Oh, ho I've got a brand new vision. A pilgrimage for two to dry land. I'll just picture it now, Helen, you and me, savoring the sweet flavor of dry land. Now, why don't you just show me the way? Okay. What? Uh, no. No? Uh, I don't think so! Uh, 
my seaplane. Nevertheless, I've got your girl, I've killed your friends. Who's gonna stop me now? You! I don't think so. You don't have a leg to stand on. No! Yes, I, Deacon of Waterworld, celebrates the birth of a new nation. Dry land is my destiny. Hey, Deacon. Hey, what? Oh, no. No, no. No, no. Uh. has ended, and civilization may start anew on dry land, while the mariner roams the four points of the compass on the endless seas of Waterworld. Vision from American Horror Story, Warren Stolen! From Bang Bang, Shay Kennedy! From Jaeger, Emerson Key! From Westworld, Stan Elton. And doing that amazing 45 foot fireburn from the Grand Tour, Robert Betson. And coming in on the boat from the flight attendant, Melissa Prather. And from Hawaii 5 Wesley Lambert. From Ollivanders at Universal Japan, my name is Trevor Fish. We hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here at Universal Studios Hollywood! Ladies and gentlemen, we're good. I still say, just like the movie, Water World's an unappreciated gym. So, um, I know you and I used to go to the lights, camera, stunt show at Hollywood Studios, which was cars and motorcycles based. Yes. Obviously, Water World is jet skis and water vehicle based. And which one do you like more? Ooh, I really like that stunt, that old stunt show at Hollywood. But I do like jet skis and planes. I thought you'd like the jet skis. I, I like that more, I think. It's a bit more personal than the stunt show was. Yeah, it's, it's a movie. Go get the Costner. Still better than Fast and Furious Supercharger, though. Mm. All the shade. Mm. Are you coming over here to take a picture with me? No, I have a question for you. And what is your question? You heard of this uh, purple dragon called Figment that has been around you a little bit, maybe? Uh, 
I don't, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure. it, it's a really annoying little purple dragon that's not as cool as your dragon. Oh, yeah? And it's been around me? Yeah, it's been around you. You hated on it quite a bit. You, you, was, you were not a fan. I don't remember that. It wasn't bad, was it? We got you the first to ask about dragons. Yeah, we got you the first to ask about annoying little uh -uh. dragons. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No? I don't remember no purple dragon. I don't know any dragons. I know my wife. That's <laughs> That's, that's smart. smart. You don't know any other women, any other female smart. dragon. Smart that's right. right. Yes, that's, that's, that's that correct. Right yeah, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Donkey. Thank you. That has been our day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. We, being from Orlando, hear a lot of people talk about certain parks being a half day park. This is a happy this is park. Definitely, this is a theme park built around a backlot tour. This is a live working studio. You can't expect it to be a theme, a full theme park, because that's not its intent. Then what should my base expectations be? This is supposed be? to be a behind the scenes look at the movies from a different perspective from anywhere else. And it's more about the shows and the experience and the actor interaction. Do you feel like else. there's enough shows here to accomplish that goal? Well, had we gone to the Animal Actor show as well as Waterworld, yes. Because what was their new motto? Uh, I don't remember now. We're um, the center of Los Angeles or the center of movies. Or the movies something about where movies are made or something. I mean, this is the center of the universe when it comes to film. I want to know what you guys think. When you come to California, even our California community, where does University of Hollywood rank on your places to go? I just want to make it known that when I lived here, this was like my bottom ranking part. And like, I only came here because it was like buy a day, get a year free type situation. I was more of a not Disneyland person now, myself. Now we definitely had fun today. Driving to Hollywood from Orange County is a long drive. Yeah, we definitely had yeah. fun today. Thank you again to the Velvet Vampire, but yes. like, I want to know for people who are local here, people that travel to California, is this something that you consider to be worth your time? Uh, I can speak for California natives and say no. I'm still curious. Let us know in the comments below. Is there anything else you guys like to see us do anytime we come to California? Of course, that's also going to be a place to let us know. Or any other of these 49 yeah. states in this country or even yeah. outside this country. Give us There's a reason. theme parks everywhere. And we will go. Uh, hit that notification bell if you want to see the videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Well, we will see you soon. Make sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. Yeah. And if you don't comment, Bear's going to eat That's himself that. into this fountain. I'm going to be all yeeted out by the time you're done with all this. You're going to eat yourself everywhere. You heard the girl. I can fucks with. I can definitely fucks with this. And what do we got? Construction crane. And At Super Mario we World. We get to see Super Mario World construction.